We are on the record at 916. Today is March 12, 2018. This is the video that testimony of Robert Bagum taking the matter of Justin Monarchivist versus Jacob Daniel et al. Case number 17, CD 30522 in the District Court for the City and County of Denver, Colorado. Today we're located at 110 16th Street, Suite 1400 in Denver. I am the videographer, Timothy Elwermeyer. The court reporter is Divine Basinger. Will all attorneys please introduce themselves beginning with the plaintiffs? Thomas Wurge on behalf of Plaintiff Justin Moskowitz. Attorney Robert Abrams, license 37950, appearing pro se. Neil Sullenberger, attorney registration 48698 for the firm. Will the court reporter please swear in the deponent? I ask you to raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth under penalty of law? I do. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Abrams. As you know, my name is Tom Birch. I'm counsel for plaintiff Justin Moskowitz in this lawsuit. And do you understand why you've been asked to give your deposition today? No. Are you aware that your firm, Abrams & Associates, is a defendant in a lawsuit that's going to trial next month? Yes. And are you aware that you are a witness regarding the actions of Abrams & Associates? Yes. Have you had your deposition taken before? I think so. When? Have you had your deposition taken before? I don't recall. How many times? I, I don't recall. You have, you're sitting here today under oath. You have no idea whether you've been deposed before? I've Object answered, to form. I've answered that question. Object to form. Move on. Mr. Abrams, have you been deposed Object before? Objective form. Object to form. Move to certify the question. If you feel that I haven't answered, then you can move for a sanction. We're going to go ahead and stop the deposition at this point and dial the special master. We are going off the record. No, we're staying on the record, please. Okay. <clears throat> Would you be prepared to read back my answer to the special master regarding counsel's questions as to whether or not I answered that question? Good morning. Could we speak with David Tenner, please? Uh, let me check and see uh, if he's good. May I ask to Thank you. Yes, these are the parties from the Moskowitz versus Dahlman matter, and we are in the middle of a deposition this morning. Okay, hold on just a moment. Thank you. Not in the office at the moment. Can I get a number and have him call you back? Yes, that would be great. If you could please. Okay. I'll send him an email right now. Appreciate it. Uh -huh, you're welcome. Bye bye. Can we Mr. Stay Abrams. on the record here? No. Yeah, we're still oh, on the record. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Abrams, I want to ask you one more time. Have you had your deposition taken before? Objective form. Yes, to answer, move on. <laughs> you need to answer the question. The question was answered. Excuse me. Have her read it back. Yep. Mr. Abrams, this is not your deposition. Please don't harass me. No, I'm, I'm not harassing we're you. We're going to move for sanctions I'm against you. you to, if you're to not answer going the to allow He just her. answered the question. He did not answer the question. He just said he did not recall. That's an answer to the question. So it, it's your testimony under oath today, Mr. Abrams, that you do not recall whether or not you've ever been deposed before. Asked and answered. And so please read you my answer back. You need to answer my questions, Mr. Abrams. Please read the answer back. No, do not read the answer back, Mr. Abrams. Like, well, like the answer would be right Let's back. move on. How many times have you been named in a lawsuit in your individual capacity? I can't recall. Have you ever been named in a lawsuit in your individual capacity? Okay. 
I think so. Okay. And when do you think that you were added as a defendant to a lawsuit in your individual capacity? It may have been, if I get it right, it may have been in the BB matter. So it's your testimony today, you've been added, you, you were a defendant in a lawsuit in one matter, and that was the BB matter, is that Objective correct? Form. I think I think they added me as an individual defendant and they lost the case that went to jury trial. I think that's my recollection. I don't remember it very well. The man BB attacked me in a stairwell and at my garage, and I think he named me individually in that suit, and then he lost that suit. That's my recollection. Let me ask the question again, Mr. Abrams. Is this BB matter that you're referring to the only time you remember being added as a defendant in a lawsuit? Objective form. I, to my recollection, yes, that's my answer. And you said the other party was named BB? Yes. Okay. Could you, what is the, what was the other party's full name? Sean Beeson. We call him BB. I represented him in a matter where him and his wife were both arrested for DUI. He was thrown in a drug tank for being belligerent and he sued the city. And then I put a restraining order on him for nine months for attacking me in a stairwell and then he sued I can't remember if he sued me individually but I think he did and then he lost that suit outright at jury verdict so we're gonna move to strike that as irrelevant um, object to form and that it's gonna lead to non-discoverable evidence under the rules of evidence. Mr. Abrams you are not me, allowed to me. I am you allowed to no, interrupt he's, you he's, this he's, is my he's giving his today, answer. Sir. You can't you are not allowed he, to put objections on the record. You are a witness today and Mr. Abrams you are represented by counsel. Your counsel is allowed to put objections on the record. You are not today. I am a lawyer. Do you understand I, that? I am a lawyer. I don't need a lecture from you who doesn't understand the rules of evidence. Under the rules of evidence, the only thing that can come in under the rules of evidence is truthfulness and untruthfulness. So to the extent that you're trying to disparage me because you have me on videotape and embarrass me for things that you can't bring in, I'm going to raise, move to strike, find it objectionable, and then move for sanctions for harassment under Rule 30D. You can look it up if you don't know it. Mr. Abrams, I feel quite confident that if any sanctions are entered in this matter, it's going to be against you. Objective for form. For continuing to obstruct and not answer Objection. any of my questions. Objective form. You cannot Objective object. Form. I just did. You cannot. I just did. I'm a lawyer. I'm, I'm a licensed, unblemished member of the bar. <laughs> unblemished. If you laugh at me one more time, we're going to walk out of here. We're going to move for 30 D3 sanctions. We're going to move for harassment sanctions against you right now. Okay, you're laughing at us with the videotape that you published on, on, on the internet about you and your rock band, and you're gonna be laughing at me. And you've moved for sanctions and had them denied every single time in this matter, and the jury should see that too. Every single one has led to no sanction. Mr. Abrams, are, are you the last aware? One where we quashed all of your subpoenas. And you, get, and you asked for attorney's fees and you got no sanction. Mr. Abrams. Let's move on. Do you have a question you, for me? You sued me? You sued my firm belligerently under the abuse of your law license where we countersued you. We have a counterclaim against you for abuse of process for misusing your law license. We, you sued me for fraud, civil conspiracy, I mean not civil conspiracy, conspiracy, which is a cr criminal act, and so you did that wrong, and aiding and abetting, which is a criminal act, so you did that wrong. Ask me questions about that or I'm leaving. Mr. Abrams, we're going to be here for a long time today if you do not answer my questions. I just want to let you know that right now. Object to form. And put that on the record. Mr. Sullenberger, I'm sorry. This stop is, laughing at yes, my wife. Yes, this is Stop laughing at my wife and stop harassing us. Listen, um, let's, you let's, us down here for fraud. Ask us fraud questions. Mr. Abrams. 
How many times has your firm been added as a defendant in any lawsuit? As I can recall, one in the BB matter. So the BB matter and then this matter as well? Those are the only two times you recall that your firm has been added as a defendant? Yes, as I recall. Aside from traffic tickets, have you ever been named in a criminal action? Objective form. Uh, objective form and privilege, so I assert privilege and need not answer. What privilege are you asserting, sir? Attorney-client privilege and we would, under the law, I need not answer that. What law are you referring to, Mr. Abrams? I need a law book. It's, and I move to a strike, and I move for, uh, um, I move to strike the question. I refuse to answer under privilege, and I move for a protective order on the question. So certify the question, and move on. You've again not answered my questions. You've Objective made a form. absolutely baseless assertion of privilege. Are you aware that in a deposition, the proper objections that your lawyer are allowed to make are as to form and as to foundation? Mm -hmm. If there is a matter that's privileged and your lawyer objects to it on the basis of privilege, he can instruct you not to answer. Otherwise, you need to answer all of the questions that Objective I give to you form. today. Do you understand that, Mr. Abrams? He's raising an objection to privilege. There's a pending question. Could you please read it back? Uh, what law are you referring to, Mr. Abrams? Uh, we can go back. Okay. Aside from traffic tickets, have you ever been named in a criminal action? So, objection, privilege, move on. You are not answering the question today. You're refusing objective to form, answer Objective form, objective privilege. Abrams. Move on. Move on. It's the answer. Objection, privilege, move on. What privilege are you asserting today, Mr. Sullen? Attorney-client privilege. He's already answered the question. So, Mr. Abrams is saying he has an attorney-client privilege over himself being named as a criminal uh, defendant. Yes. And the question's intended to harass and annoy. And under 30D3, again, we're going to move for sanctions for repeated conduct like this. Mm -hmm. I can't even get through my initial question well, because your, you are being we, so obstructionist. That's today. because you're a weak lawyer. But go ahead. You sued me for fraud. Ask me fraud questions. You sued my firm for fraud, aiding and abetting, and conspiracy. You have no evidence. Put something in front of me and we'll answer the questions. You have nothing. You have nothing. Mr. Put Abrams, something in are front you of aware me. that Judge Starrs already ruled that there is substantial evidence against your form, firm that you committed fraud? Object to form. Misrepresentation of the Are you aware? Mischaracterization. The fact that the judge let you bring your bogus claim against us doesn't mean that it's merit fault. Do you have a fraud question for me? Please answer the question. He just got asked. Are you aware. aware? Yes, I'm aware. Move on. Mr. Abrams, have you ever been arrested? Objective form and privileged attorney client. Is it? And you're instructing your client not to answer that question on the basis of attorney client privilege, Mr. Sullenberger. It's my understanding that Mr. Abrams. Uh, had an attorney for those for any issues that may have arisen, and therefore he can assert. The I also don't recall being what, arrested. What part of my question asked for any attorney-client privilege? He's not being deposed. I don't have to. Uh, I objected. I objected to questions? form. I objected for privilege for Mr. Abrams. I am going to end this deposition now, okay. Mr. Abrams. We're going to continue it while we seek intervention of the special master. Fine. It's clear that you are not here to answer any it's questions. Clear today, that you're harassing and us. You are refusing to answer We've any answered questions. Every today. question. Read every question. You, yeah, you have not. We disagree. Okay, let's ask a couple more questions, Mr. Abrams. What are the pills that you just took? Objective form. None of your business. 
None of, none privilege. None of what are those? Business. What are those other pills? Object to form. Uh, object business. to privilege. None of your business. Medical privilege. No. Mr. Answer. Abrams, are you under any uh, the the uh, any drugs today? Have you taken any drugs before you came to this deposition today? No. Okay. Have you taken any alcohol before you came to this deposition today? No. Any any medication whatsoever? No. No. Just these pills that you're taking here. Yes. That you are refusing to answer what they are. Yes. Medical none privilege. None of your business. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I can tell you that if you took some of these, they would help get some of your weight off. Mm. I can tell you that. Oh, you're referring to when you called me fat when you walked in here. Objective right? form. That. You don't recall that? Okay. Well, we have a couple of witnesses to that, including Mr. Sullenberger. Uh, in any event... If you want to raise your weight problem, Mr. Ward, with the jury and with the special master, please do. But we're not the ones that are sitting here in that condition. Mr. Abrams, do you recall the motion to quash the subpoena for your testimony yes. that you filed? Um, and, and you attempted to quash the subpoena to disallow your deposition to be taken, correct? Objective form. I don't recall that. I remember we successfully quashed your bad faith depositions. You moved for attorney's fees and you were denied by the special master. That's my recollection, that he found them, that, that he found them when we told you I would be out of town to, in bad faith, then schedule the deposition to pull me out of my vacation, he found that to be objectionable and he commended me on taking a, a vacation um, under the stresses of this profession. So I remember the special master commending me and quashing you. That's my recollection. Are you here today pursuant to the subpoena? Yes. Okay. So your subpoena didn't get quashed, did it? Yes, it did. <laughs> sure didn't. Yes, it did. Argumentative. Move on. <laughs> okay. What are you and laughing at? Why do you keep laughing? What is it with you? Why don't you look at the camera and laugh at them? Mr. Abrams, you're you're your you're testimony being is being taken Just today. ask me some questions about fraud, civil conspiracy, and what other trumped up things you did under your license that were moving for sanctions against you. Do you realize we sued you for abuse of your law license? Do you realize that? And that we're going to continue to sue you for the way that you've been treating in this matter? You have no evidence. If you do, show the jury, put it in front of us, and we'll ask questions. You haven't put one document in front of us. Open something up and make this a meaningful deposition or let me go. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Mr. Abrams? Depends on what your next question is. In the motion that you filed to quash the subpoena, isn't it true that you admitted to the special master that you were in fact in town? Objective form. We told the special master in a pleading that I returned at home at 3.30 in the morning on the same day that you scheduled my deposition and that there was no way I was going to be able to come to the deposition with no sleep. We found so you were in town at offensive. the time, you were in town on the time that you were scheduled to be deposed, but Objective you nevertheless form. moved to Asked and answered. Move on. Mr. Abrams, are you refusing to answer? I object to question. form. Move on. You don't get to not answer when you object. Object to form. Do you understand? I answered the question, and I even told you what time I returned on the day. What more? Why are you harassing me? Mr. Abrams, Stop harassing listen me. to my questions. Today, that your job is to listen to my questions and answer your questions under oath. Do you understand? Judge to ask, form. For, asked and answered. Move on. I'm waiting for your answer, Mr. Abrams. Her first question was the same question you asked. If we need to go back to the very beginning to ask whether I said I would be here under oath, we can go back and ask the court reporter. Mr. Abrams, in that motion, you included that Mr. Abrams' anxiety requires him to take medication on extended flights that impairs Mr. Abrams' facilities. Uh, can you please explain what medication you were referring to in Objective your filing? Objective form no. medical privilege. Privilege. Medical privilege. Yes. Is it, you have what what privilege is that? None of your Absolutely business. No right. No, what medicine I take is none of your business. Move on. You filed a motion with the special master saying that because of a certain medication that yep. you take, you take, you could not sit for your deposition. Yes, that medicine is none of your business. Right. Move and, on. And now you've, you've come into this deposition today mm -hmm. with a handful of pills yep. that you refuse to answer questions about yes. what they are. None of your business. 
HIPAA protection privilege. Move on. We are going to continue this deposition now, Mr. Abrams. Okay. You have made it clear you are not willing to answer any of the questions today. You have been objecting. We are going to move for sanctions against you and your firm for your conduct during this deposition, and we will take that up with the special master. And we'll represent your conduct during this deposition. Please as well. do. For the record, since the moment we've walked in here, I and my counsel have answered every single question and rightfully asserted 30. D, I think it's 30 three, D three for harassment. We've answered every single question. We've asserted privilege where counsel refused to accept privilege. And we've been nothing but harassed under 30 D three. We're moving for sanctions. We're moving to quash the deposition for future. And we're here to answer all of the questions regarding why my law firm was surreptitiously brought into this lawsuit for fraud, conspiracy, and aiding, and he hasn't asked one question in furtherance thereof. Until we will continue does, all three of the depositions that are scheduled strike. for today because it is very clear that Mr. Abrams, Mr. Sullenberger, and their firm intend to obstruct discovery in this matter and do not intend to answer the questions today. We will ask that it be reconvened before the special master with Abrams and Associates to pay the full amounts of everything associated with the depositions, including the special master's fee. And we will be filing a motion to take that up with the special master today. We disagree. We're filing the exact same motion and seeking the exact same sanctions. Anything else? We will continue the deposition and go off the record at this time. We're going off the record at 9.38.